Hi, and welcome to our updated version of the Dodge Grand Caravan Van Packers Minivan Camper Convert. All right, now we are at the campsite. We've taken everything that was up that we we transport up on the um, top basket. And I'll just point out, we to access the top basket, we have two of these 17 inch stools. Um, that makes it really easy for us on either side to get the everything that we've stored up. Now we've got it all down here, and now the fun begins getting everything set up at the campsite. Um, very uh, learned this after the first trip with our Dancho awning, and I do have, we have two videos on how to mount this to the Dodge Grand Caravan. Uh, watch those videos. We have option two. And that's our favorite option, and that's the one that we will keep. Um, don't open your awning until you have all of your stuff down from the top. Otherwise, you have to access it everything from one side, and that's a little bit more difficult. So now we have everything off the top. I'm going to go to the back where we have storage back there, while I where I will take out the. All right, now to access. The panel down here, we opted for our setup to remove the back row seat that would tuck down under there. If you don't remove the back row seat, you will not have this access. You'll have the panel door, but you won't have any, there won't be any empty space under there. You'll have your seat. We opted to remove the seat that was back there. We have the stow and go seats in the middle row. So when we need to have, um, extra seating in the car, we can accommodate four people. Um, so we have remove the panel door. And we have a kneeling pad. This holds our portable toilet and the bags for the toilet, um, toilet tissue, hand wipes, all in there. These are these are new. We just added these. These are two screen um, coverings that'll go on the front windows. Uh, learned by mistake, uh, a second camping trip out, we forgot to close the front window. So we decided that if, um, in order to allow more air in, uh, we'll put those on. We don't have to worry about if we forget to open, to uh, close the window and be, have flies buzzing around our head all night. And these are the two roadie covers that will go on to the two sliding doors to allow for um, screen access with those. And finally, because everything in that bag seems to be insect um, avoidance, this is our mosquito netting that I purchased. Um, I put the soft side of Velcro around all the sides. In the inside here, there is the rough side of the Velcro that this will attach to. And I would go inside, attach that. That way you keep the insects from getting into the interior cabin when you are using the back part. All right, the first item that we generally set up when we get to the campsite is our portable toilet changing room. And we bought this light speed. This was our third option. First option was a pop-up one. Um, that was uh, a total disaster. It blew, started blowing away. I couldn't get stakes in. And then to try to fold up a pop-up and get it back into its bag was near impossible. Uh, second option was one that had a lot of poles on it. And that was very time consuming. Then I found this um, light speed, which really does go up very quickly. Um, as we're going to show you. Uh, now, before we show you, I will say for us, this was a must have. Um, 
in a minivan camper, there's not a whole lot of room in there. So for being able to change, et cetera, um, we really felt that this was a must have. Plus we do put a portable toilet in there that makes it easier and more comfortable, especially during the night when you need to make a visit. All right, as you can see, it's quite roomy. Um, I have our toilet bag here. So I would just pop open the toilet. It has a floor on it. You can either have the floor zippered or unzippered. It depends on because you could, it has a hook up here. You can hook a shower up here. So if you're using it as a shower, you would want to unzip the bottom. Otherwise, you would want to zip the bottom. Uh, as I said, here's our toilet paper, our wipes. There are side pockets here. I don't know if you can see them um, where you can. We would put the toilet paper and the wipes in there. It's a little bit windy. We were actually at the site. We would have this stake down. It also has this strap in the back that you can hang wet bathing suits, towels, et cetera. So as I said, for us, this is a must have. Okay, so here we go. I've got uh, the roadie um, side door screen. And as you can see, it's got the screen. You can open the window. Um, you can roll this up if you want privacy. Uh, so this, you know, you can get a little stuffy in there. So this uh, allows access for air. And then here is the screen that covers the front. And we can open the window all the way down, letting a nice air flow through. You cannot drive with these on. So if we're going to pick up and move, go do something during the day, um, we would remove these. And the next step is setting up the Danchel awning and getting our outdoor little dining area, sitting area set up. Okay, we now have the awning up. We have one side panel. We do have a second side panel. This also can be staked further out if you want it pulled out. Um, we like it straight like this. If you have both sides up and you're in here, you're like in a little tunnel, which would be fine if it were raining and you wanted to block the rain out because it's really easy to take the side panel on and off. Uh, we have it staked. It's pretty windy here today. Um, so we've staked this side down because this does create quite um, a wind. Uh, they'll just take it, take it and pull it all over the place. So next, I've laid the rug. And this is a plastic rug. It all folds up nicely into this bag. Uh, six by nine. We did have a five by eight in our original video. We opted to go with the six by nine because it covers the full space. And this one does have little tabs on the side so it can be staked to the ground. Next, these are new. We purchased these since the first video. This is a uh, two Coleman chairs. They're really nice, really comfortable. Got them on sale on Amazon. Now here's 
our big upgrade that we got from Van Packers. So your kit comes, your conversion kit comes with two same size panels. One with a backing on, one that doesn't have a backing on. Well, we purchased an additional backing so that we could set up two tables. And the reason for this is We purchased from, this is the, the size of table leg that you get from Van Packers with their, the kit. And it's, nice table. It's a, just a bit short for our purposes for eating on. So what we did, is we purchased an additional exterior base and we purchased the longer 25 inch pole so now under the the awning to share a meal, we've got a much larger table that we can comfortably sit, sit at. And what we use the other table for is we have these two larger camp chairs. And we're going to imagine that this is our fire pit. So we would set these two up at our fire pit. And then we use the shorter table. And we could set down a snack, we could set down a cocktail. This will conclude part two of our two-part updated video series of the Van Packers Dodge Grand Caravan Minivan Camper Conversion Kit. We hope that you have found it to be informative and that you enjoyed the tips and additions that we have made to our setup. Be sure to check out part one, which focuses on the interior setup of our minivan camper. Happy trails and continue making memories one campsite at a time.